Welcome back to DIY Tuesday with Oil Life. This week is all about Easter and we can't wait to show you what we've got for you. So let's jump right into it. Our first DIY for you is this cute little bouquet of flowers. These are cloth, obviously, but we want to make them smell just like we picked them from the garden. So we've got a few tricks for you. Our first starts with this four ounce uh, ombre spray bottle, which we love. It's one of our favorites. And you can just go ahead and select whatever scent you would like to smell, um, whichever is your favorite or whichever you want your flowers to smell like, and place a few of those drops inside the bottle. Then fill the rest of the space with water and go ahead and lightly spray your flowers. And they will smell good all day. This is a perfect and easy way to set these flowers and make a great centerpiece for your Easter dinner. Another way that you can scent your flowers is by placing a drop of your favorite oil, I've used orange on this one as you can see, on a cotton ball. And on closed flowers like this, it works perfectly to just place it in the middle, close the flower back up, and have a great smelling flower all day. I really like this method because it makes sure that there won't be any discoloration on the cloth from the oils. Another way, simple but classic, is just to place one drop in the center of your flower. And again, this is really long lasting and will make for a great centerpiece for your dinner. This can also be a really great gift and you can place your favorite oil or a few different oils within the centers of your flowers and go ahead and give them away to your potentials or to your friends with these cute little sample cards and this quarter dram vial of whatever oil you choose. So these are great for flowers and for springtime. Of course, we love tulips during this time of year, but you can use whatever kind of flower that you would like. Another way to be prepared for Easter and for those dinners with families and friends is to have glowing spring, happy, vibrant skin. And we've got a bronzing recipe for you using all things that you can find in your kitchen. So let's get started on that. All you're gonna need is this little bowl and nutmeg, cinnamon. We've got arrowroot powder here, which is our favorite, and cocoa powder. So depending on the color of your skin, you can adjust this recipe however you need to. I'm a little bit darker, so I'm going to use a little less arrowroot powder and a little more cocoa powder. So what this arrowroot is gonna do is kind of bring the whole mixture, mixture together. We love arrowroot over here. The cocoa powder is going to give it the pigment and deepen and darken your bronzer. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that. So I'm gonna add another half of a teaspoon. And then what cinnamon does is it adds a glow to your skin. So I'll put in plenty of that and some nutmeg. Nutmeg is really warm. If you have some in your pantry, you can go ahead and look at it and you'll see it's, it's a very warm sun-kissed color. So that's what it will do to your bronzer. And then just go ahead and mix until there aren't any lumps. And I'm just gonna mix that really quickly with the same teaspoon. And then you can add whichever essential oil you would like. Soothing blends, invigorating blends are great for this. It's going to stay on your face all day and you'll be able to smell it. So whatever you want, this one is really soothing to me. It's just a bit of lavender. I'm going to put in 15 drops. And apart from scenting it, a great thing about putting the oils in here is that it will help the mixture to stay together, which later you'll see will help us to pack it into our container. So again, I'm just going to mix it until it's smooth. Mm, and the combination of the chocolate, the cocoa powder, and the lavender is really great. We tried orange earlier and that was phenomenal also. Let us know what scents you're using. Comment in the um, bar below and just let us know what works for you, what you're liking. We love to hear from you. Okay, so now that it's a little bit smoother, mm, and this is the right color for me, then I would go ahead and pack it into a jar. And I'm just going to show you the jar that we've already used for this. And we've pre-packed it, but you'll see we just pushed it down. Really make sure that you compact it into this jar. And then you can go ahead and take your favorite makeup brush and just dip it in the container and go ahead and apply. This is one of our favorites. You can find all of these ingredients, the arrowroot powder, the sample cards, um, containers as well, spray bottles at oillife.com and make sure that you're looking out at our newsletters and subscribing because we're gonna have a great Easter promo for shipping. So make sure that you look out for that. 